remember that story about the twin brothers who had different DNA after one of them spent a year in space? Well, turns out, not so much. One of the scientists for the NASA twin study says reports of Scott Kelly's DNA being changed were not quite accurate. Well, if 7% of his genes changed, he wouldn't, not only would he not be a twin, he wouldn't be a human. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's ridiculous. That'd be something like out of a Marvel movie. These survivors LP. all exhibited unique physical conditions. We've been able to manipulate these conditions into extraordinary abilities. It would be a very bad thing if, if he came back, you know, some kind of a mutant, <laughs> you know, a space mutant. Professor Bailey says the difference in Scott's body was much subtler. It, it was not 7% of his genes, you know, or the DNA, but a very different thing, and that is the genes themselves are expressed. They're, they're, um, they make proteins, right, that are the workhorses of the body of the cells. The gene expression changes. There was about 7% of them that didn't go back at, you know, to normal when Scott came back, at least out to six months. So, you know, that that isn't near as earth shattering. You know, the true story isn't near as, as interesting <laughs> as this, you know, the fake news story was. But even if they're not earth shattering, the actual results of the study will tell us a lot about leaving Earth. You know, stay stay tuned. You know, the, the real story, the rest of the story is coming. And, you know, we're very being very, very careful about, you know, interpreting these results and trying to figure out exactly what was due to space flight and what was due to all of the different kinds, you know, of things and exposures and stresses that a person is under for space flight. So, you know, that's really our challenge and, and why we're being so careful about it, because we really do want to get it right. This is InsideEdition.com.